happy to be happy. I'm black and I'm proud that I have been chosen to wear the conscious cloud. And I'm fine. Peace and blessings, Earth and Gods. I am Tisha Sheree. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are answering, I am answering all the questions. I have over a thousand questions on my latest Joni Pro video. And it gets very overwhelming because people ask the same question. They will never go through the comments. You know, I go through the comments when I click on somebody's video because I don't want to ask the same question because maybe I know how it feels to be a YouTuber. Um, but yeah, I'm going to answer all the questions because I get asked the same questions over and over again. And I don't know if you guys didn't watch the complete video to the end. I didn't leave out anything. But if you did or you didn't, this video is definitely for you or anybody who wants to know what is what and what I did and how did I do it. Like, I'm here. I got you, sis. I always got you. First things first, I just want to say I'm not rude. People love to sound rude, but y'all have to understand, it's a thousand comments. I've answered that question over 500 times. Um... And, you know, at some point it's like, okay, did you watch the whole video through? Or did you just skim through it? Because I'm sure I didn't miss out any key points, sis. So just keep in mind and be mindful, like, even though it's on YouTube, it's still the real world. Just say if somebody came to your job or came to you in the real world, how would you feel if you just feel like they didn't even watch it all the way through? I'm just saying. it That's neither here or there, but... The number one question I always get asked is, I have to pee. You know, what happens if I have to go pee? Since we have two holes, that hole that you put the Yoni Pearls in is not interfering with the pee hole. We have the hole that we pee, then we have the hole that we leave stuff in. You don't do it on your period at all. So you doing a Yoni Pearl, um, it's, no, don't do it on your period at all. And if you have to pee, just leave them in there. We do not take them out. It says leave in for 24 hours. Leave it in for 24 hours. You should start the pearls after your period. Three days after to be exact. Do not do it on your period. The next day after your period. Nothing else should be in your vagina when you do these Joni pearls to my knowledge. Um, one says 24 hours. One says 48 hours. Leave them in the complete time. You go to the bathroom normal. You wipe normal. The, the string is not going to fall out. You know what I mean? Be mindful that something is down there. And just be um, mindful that it's there. So you don't like you don't want to rip it or pull it or have sex or anything like that. The second question I always get asked is, did you take it to the doctor? No. I threw it away. Why would I take it to the doctor? Why would I carry around a bag of yeast or whatever it is and be like, oh, look at this. So they can tell me um, something else. You know what I mean? If I feel fine, if my body is fine, I don't feel any um, aches and pains, discomfort, no bleeding, no anything like that, I'm not going to run to the doctor. The same people that sell the cure sell the pain in my mind. So I'm not going to run to the doctor every single time something happens to me. So I get that a lot, a lot, a lot. So no, I did not take it to the doctor at all. I'm not taking it to the lab, getting it tested. If it came out that easily, it wasn't supposed to be in there. Ain't no herb gonna pull down no intestine. Ain't no herb gonna pull down the uterus. It ain't, it ain't just gonna come out that easy. If you think it's gonna come out that easy, it's a problem. It's been attached to this body for 30 some years and a few herbs and the only pearls are not going to just pull it down that easily. I feel like if it came down that easy, it wasn't supposed to be in there. That's just my thought. The next question I get asked is, did it make me wetter? Yes, very, very wet, like macaroni and cheese, like smacking that gushy stuff that, um, Shit, you feeling shit. I'll be like, mm, mm. <laughs> but it's just super duper wet. And I was already wet. That wasn't my point of doing it. I told you guys I had a small cyst when I had my miscarriage. Um, 
five months, well, six months ago. And I just wanted to cleanse. Like, they did a DNC on me, but I wanted to make sure I was clean for me and my mind. I'm very into herbs. I'm very holistic when it comes to medicines and everything. So I wanted to do an extra cleanse. So I got my DNC in May. I did the Yoni Pro video and everything in June, and that's what came out of me. So I just wanted to do an extra cleanse. Nothing wrong with doing an extra cleanse, you know? It's my body, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like it would have hurt. And it didn't hurt, nothing hurt at all. Like, it was amazing. Like, I felt amazing, I felt even more clean. And you see what came out of me. So I was just even more like, wow, this needed to come out. Maybe it was a cyst. Maybe it wasn't. I don't have. I still no discomfort. Six months later, I don't know. What five months later? No discomfort. No pain. No anything. Like literally after the five days of purging, I went back to having sex. I went back to busting a wide open, and I was good. All as well. Um, no issues at all. <laughs> I be talking to y'all like we really family. I swear, but that's what makes this channel authentic. A lot of people say, um, I just get a lot of hate on that video and it just makes me turn into like, I feel like a monster or I have to just be on 10 when I just normally am on 5. You know what I mean? Like, just be mindful that like everybody don't think like you and anybody can get it. Like, I feel like if you're not respectable, if you're coming on the page bashing it, why to click, why, why click on the video? This is for sisters who want to heal naturally, holistically, make sure the proper herbs. I cannot say that enough. Oh my gosh. Make sure your Yoni pearls have their proper herbs. A lot of people can sell a lot of Yoni pearls and it can have the wrong thing in them. You must make sure whatever company you support and buy the Yoni pros from, make sure the herbs are listed and make sure you do your research. Like you can, you know what I'm saying? Google the herb and it's gonna say, oh, not good. It's gonna say just, you know, Google benefits, the benefits of this herb. I do that all the time because I don't remember everything. I don't know everything. I'm forever learning. I'm forever evolving my mind and gaining as much knowledge as I can about this holistic lifestyle that I want to live, Google it. Google is your best friend. Research is your best friend. Go on the website. It got six herbs. Take the time. Stop allowing people to tell you what you need to do and what herbs should be in for your body. Everybody is different. You know what I mean? Like, I know for a fact I'm allergic to certain herbs. I didn't know that before because I was just like, okay, let me do this. Let me do. You know what I'm saying? Like, Dr. CB said this. Um, but some herbs are not for me. We are all different, and my video was just put out there to help everyone that was on the same journey as me. So, no, I did not take it to the doctor. I am not taking it to the doctor. I honestly had a um, African-American doll. I still have her. And when I told her about it, she was like, I heard about it. She was like, but she didn't say, no, don't do it. It was like more so she at work, she in a position to, like, say you know what i'm saying say certain stuff but she didn't say it she just like because i was like oh i did the yoni pearl um and she was like oh i heard about that and i showed her the website i showed her what was coming out of women she was like oh okay she was like that's interesting she said it seems cool like she didn't really say like oh it harms why is people having fibroids and cysts you know pulling out of them because she could have easily was like, no, that's dangerous. Don't do that. You're going to mess up your body. She did not say that. I felt, and I felt a little comfort because I was like, let's see what she said. Even when I threw it at her, like, oh, you know, I did this. And she just was like, calm with it. She didn't say anything. I hate the sun that's over there. But just, just um, be mindful that, and please read the comments, guys. I have over a thousand comments on that video. And I have over 100 sub videos. So I just be like, dang, didn't they see it before? It's over here like a million times. It's not me being rude. It's just like, dang, okay. Scroll through, do a little research on your own. You know, don't be like, I ain't looking through them. I'm just going to ask her because it's been asked over 500 times. I tr trust, trust, trust. The next thing is, did you get dry? Like I said, no, you did not get dry. People always ask, did I get dry or did I get wetter? I got wetter, very much wetter, but my body isn't your body. 
Um, so some people could have gotten dry, got irritated. I feel like if you got irritated, it's because you didn't push them up for enough and um, up to the cervix because I did that. In 2018, with my first set of Yoni Pearls, I did not push it up all the way correctly. And I was irritated. And I only was able to leave. And I put three in at one time. It was horrible, horrible. Oh, my God. The video is on here, too. Y'all got to find that's horrible. But I have evolved. But I, I was so irritated. And I could not even walk. It was just that strong, like, irritation. Like, I had to just, like, literally take it out. Like, I couldn't do it. And then after I took it out, um, I just, I took a bath. I sat in the bath for, like, 40 minutes. Um, a little irritation, but, like, nothing extreme. I, just, I also saw somebody say, this video is sponsored. None of my videos are ever sponsored. They send me stuff. They don't ever pay me. And I only share with you guys things that I like. So, if I don't like it, I'm not obligated to share anything. Anything that I've ever shared on the channel has been, okay, send me something, and if I like it, I'll post it, and that's what I do. So I had got a lot of backlash saying that they're paying me to, um, to you know, talk about Yoni Pros. No, nobody has ever paid me for any of the videos. Anything I've ever said on this channel has always been my authentic opinion. They'll hit me up and say, oh, we want to send you this, and then I always let them know, like, if I like it, I'll share it. If I don't, I'm not going to post it because I know how it feels. I bought a lot of things from people and it was like garbage. Like, okay, sis, you got to check for this. I don't get no check. I just get free product. If I like it, I share. If I don't like it, you don't see it. Simple as that. Because I'm still human at the end of the day. I still work a nine to five. I still am living life. And I don't want people to take my hard earned money and be like this work if it really doesn't so i feel y'all on a whole new level and i'm not like your average youtuber um i'm not like your average influencer or anything i just want to be honest and let you guys know like this works i like this if this doesn't work you won't even hear about it so you won't even know you <laughs> be amazed at how many people hit me up like oh talk about this but we'll give you this and that and that and i just have to let them know like straight up like if i don't like it i'm not posting it um Cause my spirit won't sit well with me the person that i am is not i'm not moved by the money i'm moved by the community the family that i have built here on youtube and i have to just genuinely like it our money ain't good money and i don't want to take y'all money times are so hard so i'm not with it so the last but not least question i get is um how many can you do i know somebody that could not have a baby for 10 years the doctors was telling her um, it was just not possible. Um, she was with her man since like 25. They had been together. She was just so sad and depressed. Baby, she did four back-to-back, -back, one, one set a month. In that fifth month, she was pregnant. Her video really, really touched me. And that's what got me into it. Um, I knew people before who had done it. Mind you, I'm in my early 30s. Um, and literally... I knew people who were doing this before I was born. Like I talked to my grandma and just different cultures don't understand, but I knew people who did it before. That's how I got even involved in it. Like I was like, okay, I want to try this. And I started becoming more knowledgeable about herbs and how they can like cure certain things. You don't have to run to the doctor all the time. It's a lot of stuff in your kitchen that can like heal you. So one of my best friends, she did it. She did it like 2017 and she was like telling me about it and how clean she felt and how a whole bunch of stuff came out. She has a couple kids. She was like, oh my God, like it was just this much stuff and that much stuff. And I was like, really? And I was like, oh, she was just telling me and I was like kind of intrigued. I was like, okay, let me do some research. That's when I start asking people. Before I even did it, I asked a lot of people, like my grandma now, my auntie now, everybody. And it was like, oh yeah, that's been around for generations. Like, you know, but nobody talks about it because you're healing yourself instead of running to the doctor all the time. So I just started doing my little research. And before I even, you know, brought to y'all the video, I had did research on top of research. So guys, it's ha it has been around, but of course it's not a favored way of healing because the way we have been programmed, but don't slaughter someone and 
talk down on someone and say you don't need this and why are you doing that you need to go to the doctor like i get so many hate mail so much hate mail so much hate comments i really have to like monitor my youtube and mute my youtube because i don't know if people just the trolls the trolls make it so hard like when you try to educate go against what everybody has been taught is it's hard like and i'm 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 with the shit so i be like don't come at me sideways like um talk to me nicely you know what i mean because at the end of the day we human what i do to my vagina is not affecting you and what i put in it the yoni pros i'm not saying get them i'm just sharing with you my experience and if you want to try then you are trying them and it's nobody else's you know nobody should have an attitude or nobody should make you feel any less than a human you are a human you are a black woman you are a woman in general even if you're not black you are a woman it's your vagina don't tell me what to do with my vagina like it's nothing wrong with that so i just wanted to share you guys I just wanted to come and answer the questions, the most asked questions, because I get those questions all the time and still no pain, no discomfort. This is just an updated video and I still don't feel any discomfort. I felt so clean um, even after the Persian. Y'all saw me. Nothing I showed on that video was edited to make it look like anything else. I showed exactly what I did in real time. Um, and yeah, we have two hoes. So once they're in, don't take them out. Pee normal, wipe normal, no sex. Don't do it on your, you know, your period and stuff like that. And um, trust me, if done correctly, you will be, you will be fine. Like, don't trip. It's a mind thing because I'm telling y'all, I messed up too. I messed up in 2018, and look, two years later, I got it right. I do one set a year. I know some people who do five sets a year. Um, I don't do it as much, but some people. Do it for other reasons. I hear if you have five brush, do it like five times a year. You have cysts, do it three times. You have dryness, do it, you know, different number of times. But just golden key, golden rule, make sure the herbs are correct. And I'm not saying I know all the herbs. I just know when I look at a company, they have the herbs listed. I Google every single herb. I take the time out of my day because that's going in your body. That's going in your body and you definitely want to know what's going in your body. And... How is it going to affect your body? You may be allergic. Everybody's not allergic. Everybody doesn't get irritation or anything. So yes, the vagina is self-cleaning, but sometimes you need a little bit more assistance. People been dishing for years. That's horrible. That's 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 the that's the worst thing you could do. But again, I'm not pressuring anybody, asking anybody, or telling anybody to do the only pros. It's all up to what you want to do. Sometimes we need a little assistance. The eyeballs are self-cleaning. You know what I mean? But nobody is fucking them every night, you know? So sometimes you need a little bit more help to get clean. And, you know, sometimes I feel like, okay, I sit in a bathtub full of apple cider vinegar, water, herbs, and everything, but that doesn't get up to the cervix. That doesn't get up to the womb like Yoni Pros do. And mind you, I am a 30-something-year-old female. So my body could just have buildup of yeast, buildup of bacteria, buildup of whatever. And this is why Yoni Pros have been proving to take those things out of you. You know what I mean? Sometimes you go to the doctor, he give you a medicine and you're like, oh, I could have just did this. Or they want to have surgery on you and cut you and you could have just did this. I'm not saying it's the cure. I'm not saying you have to do it. I just said I did it and I did it on camera. Because I felt like I wanted to share. I get comments of people saying, oh, that's nasty. Um, I would never eat poom poom again. I would never look at a female the same again. Like, y'all, y'all would be amazed. But I opened myself up to this and I am not mad. When you're doing something different than the norm, when you are teaching a different kind of way, that's not run to the doctor, run to the doctor, run to the doctor. You know, you're going to get that. You're going to get a little backlash. I'm fine with that. But just know that I was true. I was authentic. I wasn't, you know, telling you what to do. I just shared what I do. I'm Tisha Shirley. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch the updated video. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.